it's Ashley from Human Pit Reporter and today we are in Chicago, Illinois and I am with Josh and Jesse from Stick to Your Gun. What is up guys? Just chilling. Just, just chillin'. off stage. Just got I'm very impressed how quickly you said all that. Yeah, oh. me too. If hey. I talk too fast, it's like, you know when you see people run down a hill and their the top of their body goes over their legs? And they're like, <laughs> That's how I talk 90% of the time. I mean, yeah, same. But <laughs> That's how I run 90% of the time. Nice. Nice. Um, so... I, you guys just got done with your set and everything, but what was your favorite song to play today? What was your favorite part of the set today? No, nobody got yeah, first song for me. For me was um, Amber when we got in the circle pit part because myself and Andrew plays bass on the right side of the stage. Did a little circle pit. on the stage right. And Frank from Hatebreed joined in, so we, the three of us were just had our own little personal stage right circle pit. Okay. If there is one message that you could send to your fans through your music and through yourself as artists and as people, what would it be? That is such a loaded question when asking this band that. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll say what we were saying earlier today. We were having a conversation about this, about how no one knows how to talk to each other, and thus it's, it's, it's a problem for a lot of people. So I'm going to give you an example. And if I was to go in, this is the example I was using earlier. This is a great example. Okay. If I was, if I, let's say, little Jesse is walking to math class, and he's like, oh, I'm so excited to learn things. Very little at this page. And I walk into class, it's a math class, I'm sitting there. Here we go, and the teacher comes out and goes, "What's four plus four? And I'm and I don't know math, and so I go, "Uh, three." She goes, oh, oh, "When I say three, right? What's four plus four? Is that what I ask? Yes. What's four plus four? And I say, "I don't know, three." She goes, "No, it's eight, you fucking idiot!" <clears throat> I'm never gonna want to go back to math class ever again. You know what I'm saying? And so I think that we as people, especially young progressive types, need to learn how to not necessarily be okay with the things that are going on around us, but it'll maybe be a little bit more understanding as to the environment that gets poured into someone's head or the things that we all grow up learning. And when approaching someone who has different, different points of view as your own, um, trying to understand and putting yourself in their shoes and saying, okay, well, I, I can understand how they would think that. Um, because we'll try to educate them on that. Exactly. And also be educated in return. Yeah. Right. Um, not be so steadfast. And also understand that your perspective is not universal. Right. There is no one universal truth. There is no one universal perspective when it comes to operating as a society with like a belief system or um, the even social and political uh, content that people cling on to. That's, yeah, that's the thing too. Is like we say a lot of, we're, we're a generally a pretty positive band. And, and people, I think, misinterpret that as us saying, like, you gotta like everyone. There are so many people I don't like, yeah. but there's, a, I, I recognize value in, 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 in someone's existing as a human being on this planet. And um, I think that's a different, that's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we can all coexist in our scene together, and there's a reason we chose an alternative music scene, because we didn't like the way things were operating outside of the world, or you've been, you know, you, you, you grew up in a, in a rough situation, and you found an outlet for this music, I think that's great. Or you just like the music and that's it. Yeah. But there's plenty of people that I go to shows with in my own local scene that I don't like at all. But I, I, I recognize that they have, there's something that brought them there and that in itself has value. And so I think that's, I think that's it. Because like, like we were saying before, if you go into math class and you get screamed out by your teacher, you're never gonna wanna go to math again. And, and you're never gonna wanna go to a class again. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, te you're associated a teacher with them all being like, like yelling. Yeah. yeah, or and then you leave and then some other guy goes, hey, math sucks. And then you're like, hey, math does suck. And then you follow that guy and that's how you get Donald Trump. So I think, you know, it's, it's, um, we just, you know, we just pump the brakes a little bit and let's yeah. calm down and just try to have a, introspective conversations with one another uh, of different, differing ideas. Um, while at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to tolerate racism or sexism or homophobia, yeah. but when uh, when approaching someone or being approached by someone who is those things, to understand that uh, everything's education. And so to, ed ed to educate and be educated, both parties have to be open-minded and open-hearted. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hearted. There's just some battles that you can't fight and you just have to learn to walk away from them. But like right. for the most part, everybody needs to learn to one, like you said, communicate better and be a little bit more empathetic to people's feelings or other people's feelings. Right, well. absolutely. And, and so it's like, it's exactly, you said some battles you can't fight, you have to let people learn on their own. And just like pit hard. Yeah, it's always pit hard. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you guys on the Mutant North stage all summer <laughs> long. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. What's up? It's our last night. We're here to get better teeth. Our smiles fixed. Yeah. Smile direct. 
See, Tim's in the process already of getting his molds. And he's excited, woo! Uh, so yeah, it was actually super easy, and we are stoked to be doing this. Time to do the bottom teeth now. Yeah, it's time. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's up? It's Tyler from Sworn In, and uh, I just wanted to say that with music and art and everything that I do in every walk of life, whether it be visual, musical, creative, or just day-to-day -day shit, I try to make sure that I'm maintaining emotional honesty with myself and those around me, and staying true to who I am, whether it's good or bad. The accepting of the bad leads to control of the bad, is what I think. So taking everything verbatim and for what it is, well, being able to look at yourself introspectively, critically, and imparting that towards self-growth, towards yourself and others.